hello and welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Now today I'm going to play a little game called Minor 2049er. Now this game was made in 1983 by a man named Bill Hogue, Hugh, H-O-G-U-E, for uh, Big Five Software back in 1983 and it was a huge, huge hit back then. It appeared on pretty much every game system back in the day. There was an Atari 2600 version, Atari 5200, I think there was a Coleco version, I'm pretty sure there was an Apple II version and a PC version. I mean, it was a huge game back in the day. But strangely enough, it's been pretty much largely forgotten now. I am playing this on my Atari XE game system, and this is my Atari XE GS joystick with the black stock and the gray body. It's kind of funky, but, you know, it works. Prepare for Station 1, Zone 1. Starts you out kind of easy. All you do is walk across the uh, the platform here and touch all the, the floor. And now I, I got that. I think that was a hot dog. Now I got that. I can uh, touch any of the enemies and kill them. Got to be really careful with the jumping in this. You think you can jump a certain distance, but you can't. <laughs> Let me get these guys real quick before they... All right, got them. my coffee. There we go. That's stage one. Pretty easy. Now is when it gets a little tricky. Should have got that flashlight down there because if I touch this little thing here, this is a slide. I'm going to go sliding back down. I think I think I want to just jump over here and get that bit there. See, I didn't get that one there. That's the... That's the frustrating part. Let me just get this. Take care of these guys. And I'm I'm using up my time here just to climb back up here and get that one bit there. Oh, I didn't slide down automatically. There we go. I thought it would slide down automatically. Okay. Over there, get that. Get the radioactive hot dog. Watch this, this is good. Slid all the way back down. And it's kind of fun, but now it's just eating up my time. Hopefully I have enough time to get up there and get everything now. Ah, uh, misjudged that jump. I was trying to jump on the very edge there. Mm. And I noticed the stage is not the same color as it was before. I think it just kind of like randomizes the, the colors. Oh, I thought I still had my energy. Oh, man. Yeah, see, it's a different color this time. That's neat. Doesn't have to be the same color every time. Ah, oh, see, there's one there and one there that I just couldn't get on that uh, slide. Oof. There we go. I think that should do it. There we go. Got it! Okay, this one has elevators. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. How do I go down? How do I... Oh, you know what? I need the keyboard to do this. Oh, man. I forgot, I have the XE keyboard. It's right here. But it's kind of tricky to plug in for me because the way the XE system is jammed in these little cubicle things, the, the connector is so very tight. So, um, I wish it was wireless, but it's not. Oh, did I do it right? One. Ah, see? Now I can hit the the button to which level I want to go to, but I've only got six, I've only got a few seconds left. I'm not going to make it. Not going to make it. Oh, 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 oh. Give me some more points at least. Eight, 80 points. Can I get this guy before I die? Ah. Can I get him? No. Oh, dang, dang it, dang it. That's game over. You know I got to go again. Great score. Enter your name. Okay. Um, oh, I guess I have to type it on the keyboard. I guess that is the downside to playing this game on the uh, XE 
game system is that you cannot uh, you can't go different levels. You can't use the elevator. And that basically breaks the game here. You can't, you know, you can't go any further. Most people are gonna have the keyboard. I'll bet you some people lost it. I'll bet you not everybody has the keyboard. It's like a race. How quickly can I get the stage done? So I get back to the elevator stage. First stage is so easy. I mean, it's not like the second stage is super hard, but it's just challenging trying to get around uh, these stupid slides. There we go. Got it. Hit you with that anvil. I guess it was an iron. Alright, let's go down to three. Let's go back up to one, uh, four, quick. Let's get this guy. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Yes! Just barely. Maybe I can make that jump. Nope, I can't make that jump. How do I get over there? I guess I have to go up here that way. That's probably the way to go. Let's do all that first this time. Now we gotta go all the way back down. Let's go up to four. Oh, oh, dang it. All right, now that we got that, we'll go down to three. Take care of three. Go down to two. Take care of that. And then we'll go down to one. Can I go down to one? Oh. Oh, it's, oh. So the elevator turns red, so you can't always do it. Okay. Get him, get him. Got it. Oof. Yes! Stage four! Oh my gosh. Um, hey, there's money. This is... I'm just gonna die from, like, falling on this one. Oh my god, I didn't die. Oh my god, I can't believe I made it up there. How do I get down? How do I get down without dying? Guess I gotta go all the way around that way. See, the jumping is just not... It's not good. Very tricky. Alright, so there's actually a sequel to Minor 2049er, and it is called... Bounty Bob Strikes Back. Now, this game is actually kind of rare. Uh, especially on the 5200, it's one of the rarest games there is. Uh, the 8-bit version isn't quite as rare, but it's still it's still up there. It's still up there. Now, both of these games were given to me by a friend of mine at work uh, by the name of JR. He passed away a couple of years ago and uh, gave me all his Atari 8-bit uh, XE. And uh, he had an Atari 400 and all of his games. So, Jim, I miss you, buddy. Anyway, yeah, Bonnie Bob Strikes Back. This game is way harder than, the, than this one there. And you can see right off the bat, uh, it's a little bit more advanced. It has this neat little screen where the, I guess these are ducks or something, bringing in the letters. It's pretty funny. Now that I have the keyboard, I can go to level two. Actually, I don't even need to do that because the um, this version of the game, you can just push up and down and just go to the different stages. But I'm pretty much screwed because I can't get, there's no way I can get over there to get that joystick in time. The graphics are a little bit better, I think. Uh, one thing I noticed is that once you uh, clear a section, you don't have to go back and do it all over again, which is nice. This is where I say the jumping gets tricky. Because how am I supposed to jump there when I'm so close? I'm just going to jump over jump it every time and jump to my death. So i got to move to the far end of the block just to get over there. And I don't know if I can... See, I can't do it. It's tough. Oh my god, I survived! Wow! Honest to god, this is as far as I've ever gotten in this version of the game. Oh, 
Wait a second. Is there another block? Did I miss a block somewhere? I thought I got them all. Oh, I didn't get the one up there. I got up there. Oh, man. How did I do that? I almost think I could make this jump. Let's try it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Ugh. I, okay, I can get up there. Oh, you know what? I bet you have to jump over to here, get this, and then jump over to that one. There's almost no way you can get there from that other block that's just too close. All right. Maybe if I get on this. Oh, dang it. Thought that was going to get it. <laughs> Anyway, that is Miner 2049er and its sequel, Bounty Bob Strikes Back. Two really great games from the early 80s. I believe it was like 1983, 1984 when these came out. Again, largely forgotten. But if you ever run across a copy on any game system, pick it up because it's a lot of fun. Except for Bounty Bob Strikes Back. It's very frustrating and it'll just make you mad. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Take care and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye, everybody. Come on, come on, come on. Just this once, just get up there. I know it's possible. I did it. I got up there. And then I died. <laughs>